Hey folks, it's Thomas, and as a fifth year astrophysics student, what I carry with me every day has changed a little over the last four years. But now that I'm in my final year as an undergraduate student at the University of St Andrews, I thought it would be nice to go through what I'm carrying with me every day as a physics student in what is probably my most refined everyday carry of my degree. First off, we need something to carry everything in. So we're gonna need a bag. I have always been team backpack, not team messenger bag, or I don't know, whatever other type of bag you might wanna carry. I've always been one for backpacks. So the one that I'm using at the minute is this. It is the Nordis Sienna. Now, if you spent any time on Instagram, you are probably familiar with this bag. You'll probably have seen it advertised somewhere. And to be honest, that's where I first saw it myself. When I saw it, I was kind of skeptical, thinking, oh, it's another Instagram advertised product, it's probably not going to be that good. But I did a lot of digging around the internet, reading reviews, watching YouTube videos, and eventually decided, you know what, I'm going to take the leap, I'm going to try it. TLDR, I love it. It's got four sections. It's got a rear laptop section, which is large enough for my 15-inch laptop, and could probably take some things a little bit larger. If you've got a big, like, 17-inch gaming laptop, though, you might need to look elsewhere. In fact, I would recommend you look elsewhere. The main section is spacious. Honestly, I'm kind of amazed the amount of stuff you can fit inside this bag. It's got loads of organizing sections. It's got a sleeve at the back for large notebooks. It's got a pocket you can stick a power bank in. You'll find a cable to attach that power bank to, to pass through to the outside USB port. A load of other pockets in there as well, perfect for everything. Those are little small things you need to carry, like dongles and inhalers and that sort of stuff. There's then two pockets at the front with a few small pockets inside them for sunglasses, calculators, pens, there's a clip for your keys, and there's space in there for a notebook as well. This is the second laptop bag I've had while at university, and honestly, I have very few complaints about it. It's the perfect size for me. I have quite a short back, and it doesn't hang down below my arse, which is, you know, pretty good for wanting it to look nice, but also for cycling. I cycle quite a lot, so it's good to have it not hanging down and landing on stuff. The other brilliant thing about it is that this bag keeps its shape. There is nothing in this bag right now, and it is, it is keeping its shape. Like, it's still, it, it's still a, like a, like a cuboid shape. It stands up without needing to be lent on anything, and honestly, that is probably the best thing about it. It's part of the reason I bought it, was because I wanted a bag I didn't have to keep leaning against table legs. My only complaint about this bag, really, is that the, the laptop sleeve isn't padded at the bottom. That would be a really nice touch to add to it, but... It's not a massive complaint, you just have to be a little bit careful when putting it down, and honestly, I've not damaged a laptop in it, so, yeah. I'm happy with it, I'm just... That would make it perfect, but otherwise it's pretty damn good. Now we need to start filling this thing up, and every student needs a laptop. And this is mine. This is the... Let's see, I'll b-roll this. This is the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. That's a mouthful, but it's a mouthful describing a very, very, very good laptop. I had a lot of complaints about my old laptop. My old laptop was an HP Pavilion XD60 14 inch thing from 2017. There were so many things wrong with that laptop. It was too heavy for its size, the screen was absolute crap, it was low resolution, there was not a single angle which was good for the whole screen. It was touchscreen, which I liked, but because the viewing angles were so rubbish you couldn't fold it back on itself and, and use it as a tablet because it just looked terrible. The IO was not bad, but it came with like really bad storage, like 128 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM. So I had to rip the whole thing apart to upgrade it. And to top it off, it had no number pad, which has driven me insane for four years. So, does this laptop solve that problem? It solves just about everything that was wrong with that. Firstly, it's a 15.6 inch laptop, so it's got a bigger screen. Check. 14 inch was nice, but for what I wanted for coding, I wanted bigger. Second, it's 1080p, not 768p. Nice bump in resolution. Really good. It's an OLED screen rather than an LCD screen, so the colours are amazing, the blacks are amazing, the contrast ratio is... I need to stop saying amazing, but I really love this screen. It's a much thinner laptop, it's a much lighter laptop. This thing only weighs like 1,040 grams. That is nothing for a 15 inch laptop. It's a much thinner laptop and it's a much lighter laptop, meaning that I can do this and fold it back into tablet form and then use the included S Pen to use this thing as a tablet and take notes. Normally I'd use it landscape. It's also fast enough for everything that I need to do. It's got a 12th gen Intel i7 processor, which means it's fast enough for taking all my notes, it's fast enough for some light gaming, and it's fast enough for all the coding that I need to do for my degree. I still like coding on my desktop, which is behind the camera, 
but that's not a topic for this video because I don't carry that thing with me every day. I use this laptop literally every day and I couldn't be happier with it. I use it for taking notes and lectures, I use it for watching YouTube, I use it for class plans, for Scottish country dance classes. I think it's honestly underrated. But I wanna hear what you think. Everyone has different laptop preferences, so let me know what laptop you're using and why down below in the comment section. And subscribe while you're down there. Now, moving on to something that lives in my pocket, my phone. My phone is not new. My phone is not even last generation. My phone is from 2017. I think I, I got it in 2018, a couple of months before coming to university, and it is a Samsung Galaxy S8. It had a battery replacement, and compared to the latest Samsung's Google Pixels and iPhones, it's a little tired. I will grant it all of that, but it works. It does everything I still need it to do. Considering that most of what I do is send messages, scroll through social media, watch YouTube videos, and listen to music. When I think of my phone in university, it is that phone, and yeah, I can't really complain. It has served me really well. The one area that I will concede that new phones have far surpassed my Galaxy S8 is in taking photos. But that's not really a problem for me because the next thing that I always carry with me is a camera. Specifically, I tend to carry my Canon M50 mirrorless camera because it is very small. That is it on my hand. It is not a big camera. I carry a camera because I got into photography but even in social settings, it's really nice to have just an actual camera because it just gives you a bit more control. Yes, new phones have got very good at taking photos, but I like having an actual camera that can zoom properly and you have a bit more control over the photo and it's got a decent flash in it if you need that. It's, it's nice to have. I really like having it. And if there's a photo that I really want to take and think that's going to look amazing, then I can do that because I've got this Canon camera in my bag I'm a photographer. I like taking photos and it lets me do that. Sometimes I will bring along the Canon 70D if there's something specific I want to take a photo of, like I'm doing headshots for some friends, I'll bring my Canon 70D rather than the M50. But yeah, I typically carry this. In fact, it's normally my vlogging camera for my week in life vlogs that I do each month. And it also functions as my stream camera for when I'm streaming on Twitch. Now, I mentioned listening to music. I love listening to music. It is the near constant in my life, but most of the time other people do not want to listen to my music, which is where I need a good pair of headphones. Like these. These are the Bose 700 noise cancelling headphones, and I've had them for about a year now, and honestly, they are the best headphones that I have ever had. I have always been one of those people that thinks if you buy something good, you will replace it less often, and in the long run, it will be cheaper. Headphones are one of the things that falls into this category of buy expensive once as opposed to buy cheap many times. And honestly, these are amazing. These Bluetooth headphones have been with me just about everywhere in the last year. I got them for my birthday when I was up in Shetland. I have taken them around Shetland, to the Netherlands, all over Scotland. They go with me when I walk around town, they go with me on trains, on planes, in cars. Not when I'm driving. And honestly, I... I just, I've never had headphones that are more comfortable. I use them when I'm streaming, when I tend to plug in a cable into this ear cup. Honestly amazing. My mum has now actually gone and bought a pair because she liked mine so much. So now that that's all the techie stuff out of the way, let's get on to the more non-techie stuff. Now, I know I said that I take notes on my laptop, but I'm still a sucker for paper, which means that I always have a couple of notebooks with me. I have this, which is an Oxford campus notebook. It's got little icons in the corner of its pages that let you scan, let you scan it with a phone. I really like these. I've had loads of them over the years and yeah, they're, they're what I tend to do tutorial work or rough work in so I can scan it in later. And then for writing up my notes for my lectures, I will tend to use these black and red notebooks. They're also Oxford notebooks. They're just really nice to write on and I've used quite a few of these just for writing up my lecture notes so I've got a nice well-written copy that's not just scrolls of notes. So yeah, that, that's what this gets used for and I love it. Now let's go through a few more of these items. We'll go through them quick fire because there's not too much to say about them. My inhaler. I'm asthmatic. Good thing to have them. Don't want to die. A calculator. I'm a physics student. I can't do mental maths anymore. I genuinely did two times three in an exam once and got five. This thing is needed. A watch. I'm not wearing it today, but I have this on every day when I go out. I, I know that my phone can tell the time, 
but there's just something quite nice about having a nice understated analog watch on my wrist every day that I just, I really like having it. So yeah, it goes with me every day. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but eh, I like it. A cross fountain pen. I got this as a birthday present about a year ago, maybe two years ago now, I can't remember. I think it was a 21st birthday present. And I've been using fountain pens for a few years, some Parker ones that were quite cheap. I find that I prefer to have a fountain pen because it fatigues my hand less when I'm writing. This one, this cross fountain pen, it writes absolutely beautifully. Its proprietary ink cartridges are a bit expensive, but honestly, I really like using it. I've had to use it so much that I'm starting to wear off some of the the gold accent colour on it because just it goes everywhere with me and I just shove it in a pocket. So that's everything that goes in my bag every day. Well, almost. There is one other thing that goes with me absolutely everywhere. This simple red notebook. Phones are great, laptops are great, but sometimes you just want paper. I use this for dumping ideas, I use it to keep track of what needs done in the day. I use it to keep track of graphics and text that I need to add into videos. It gets used for rough lists. This notebook is one of the few things that I cannot really function without. And to be honest, if you've not tried it, go give it a go. Just get a simple notebook, red notebook if you want. I, I really like this. Highly recommend. So what do you think? Did I miss anything out? Do you think I'm wasting time with any of this stuff? Let me know in the comment section below. Since you've made it this far in the video, I think it's clear you've liked the video, so hit that like button and let me know that. Subscribe if you haven't already, and you're probably looking for something else to watch, so why don't you have a look at this one? Hope you enjoy it, hope you have a very good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!